the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's law. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 352, Hebrews 5 to 10. High Priest Jesus, the New Covenant. Jesus completed the Old Covenant, which had the limits of time and space, and thereby saved all people of this world by becoming master of the New Covenant. First point. The writer of Hebrews testified that Jesus came as the high priest following Melchizedek. death. Aaron's descendants had maintained the position of a high priest for 1,500 years in a kingdom of priests. Because of this, all Jews respected the high priests who worked in the temple. There were some who considered Jesus' authority to be lower than the high priests. Regarding this, the writer of Hebrews declared that Jesus' authority was incomparable to the high priests. In order to clarify this, the writer outlined the qualifications that were needed to be a high priest. The high priest in a kingdom of priests was among the people and called by God. Jesus was indeed overqualified. Jesus came as a human and was also called by God as a high priest. Thus, Jesus was incomparable to any high priest in the temple. Jesus came as the Son of God in order to suffer. As such, the right of Hebrews stressed that Jesus came with ultimate authority as a high priest. Following this, Melchizedek was described. Firstly, Melchizedek was God's high priest. Second, Melchizedek was a high priest who received Abraham's tithe. Third, Melchizedek resembled God's son closely. Next, the writer continued to state the reason as to why Melchizedek was above the high priestess, selected from the tribe of Levi. First, Melchizedek had received Abraham's tithe and had blessed Abraham, who was the ancestor of the Jews. Second, although the tribe of Levi died, Melchizedek remained as a high priest. Third, Abraham's descendants in the tribe of Levi had also offered tithe to Melchizedek. In other words, Melchizedek had become high priest much prior to the tribe of Levi being given the position. Also, that he blessed Abraham priced Melchizedek above Abraham. Jesus came as a high priest not from the descent of Levi but from Melchizedek. Thus, Jesus came as the ultimate high priest. Second point, the writer of Hebrews testified that Jesus came as the high priest and the guarantee of the new covenant. The writer of Hebrews testified that Jesus came with the new covenant and as the everlasting high priest. The reason Jesus became high priest was first because he was without evil or sin and was holy. Second, he was higher than the heavens. Third, he gave himself at once on the cross to complete all offerings. Fourth, Jesus is everlasting because he is the Son of God. The writer went on to testify that Jesus came with the new covenant, which had been pre-told by Jeremiah. To the people who had broken God's covenant, Jesus came and gave them God's new covenant. God had previously given his covenant on two stone tablets, but due to human disobedience, the tablet was smashed. However, with his mercy, God renewed his covenant with humans. Thus, the old covenant became expired, and Jesus came with the everlasting covenant. Third point, the light of Hebrews wrote that although the high priests 
in the kingdom of priests made animal offerings, Jesus the high priest offered himself as a sacrifice. The light of Hebrews compared the high priests in the Old Testament to the ultimate high priest Jesus. During the Old Testament, the high priests had offered animals as a sacrifice. But this was an incomplete offering for the past 1,500 years. With the new covenant, Jesus had offered his own body as a perfect sacrifice and fulfilled the ultimate sacrifice to forgive human sins. The previous high priests had offered animals, but Jesus offered his own body. And this is what the light of Hebrews testified. Fourth point, the light of Hebrews testified that Jesus did not go towards the holy place made by hands, but went to the holy place made in heaven. Previously, there had been the burnt, drying, fellowship, guilt, and sin offerings. The people had to use the three methods to make an offering, and this included the sacrificial animal, grain, the price, where God chose to put his name for his dwelling and the help of a priest. Additionally, the high priest had to enter the most holy place once a year with his life on the line on the day of atonement. Despite all these procedures, the offering in the kingdom of priests was not a complete one. However, the offering that Jesus brought with the new covenant was complete, and it was not made by hands, but was made in heaven. In order to make this possible, God had prepared Moses and then David, and the holy places made by hand. With Jesus, God had made the holy place in heaven and made everything possible. At the moment, Jesus shouted, It is finished on the cross. Although the Israelites were able to enter the holy place, they were not permitted to enter the most holy place. The most holy place was only for the high priest, and he was only to enter once a year. However, with the new covenant, anyone was permitted to come before God through the name of Jesus Christ. Fifth point, the light of Hebrews declared that Jesus ended the 1,500 year tradition of a kingdom of priests through his cross and then went to heaven to await for the day of judgment. The light of Hebrews compared offerings and Jesus. Offerings cannot get rid of sin, but Jesus forgives our sins. This is the good news gospel. The light of Hebrews testified that offerings in the Old Testament was a shadow of the new covenant and the cross. Jesus enabled us to come between the holy place and the most holy place to break down the wall between God and humans, and furthermore, open the way for all Christians to live as the children of God. Through the offering of his own body on the cross, Jesus ended the 1,500-year tradition and then ascended into heaven to wait for the final day of judgment. This is the good news gospel. The books Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John all tell the good news, the gospel of Jesus. I am thrilled that you have downloaded the Tondoc app. The Tondoc app is not like any other app in the world today as well as in the body of Christ today. Dr. Biongo Zo has devoted his entire life to teaching men and women like yourself to understand the entirety of the Word of God as a masterful and beautiful story from Genesis to Revelation. Dr. Zoe is a sought-after speaker worldwide. He's a cutting-edge pastor and leader. He is a renowned theologian and a prolific writer. And you're going to be equipped and energized like never before to understand and apply the Word of God into your life. Again, thank you for downloading the Tondoc app.